my favorite non-powered non-powered supervillain. Don't he got like some kind of power where he can like resist the cold? That's the reason he can hold up. That's the reason he can wear that uh suit and do that gun thing. No, that's the ailment. No, that's the ailment. Mm. I mean, curses and blessings are two sides of the same coin. No, it's not a curse or a blessing. It's an ailment. It's mm -hmm. something that he has to he has to wear the suit or he will die. That's, mm. that's not a curse or a blessing. That's an ailment. Okay. okay. But like Mr. Freeze doesn't have any powers. He does not. And that's a good one. The the best non-power supervillains, Mr. Freeze. I mean, I think he's right there on the line though. How is he like, on the line? Because Mr. Freeze, like I've seen some incarnations of Mr. Freeze where like if he's not in his suit and he touches you, like you start to get cold, like he start to freeze you a little bit. I mean, Mr. Freeze, Mr. Freeze's own internal body temperature is like at freezing or below freezing. It has to be below freezing. So of course he touches yeah. you, you're gonna freeze. I mean, I, but you, okay. And it's like, he gotta, but he's gotta stay like a certain le level of warmness to, in order to survive. That is like a My Hero power. No. You could no, put that it's character not in a My power. Hero. It's like, not, it's not like, a power uh, at all. I would say he, he's the exact opposite of Endeavor where, you know, Endeavor, he can shoot fireballs and shit, but he, he gotta keep himself cool uh, or he gonna hurt himself. But Mr. Freeze can't shoot Freeze Blast. He can't. He can't. So his power is shitty, but it's still a power. No, it's not a power. How is it a power? a power? 